3D Hair Shears and Some Roses Pendant Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made a pendant for my sister for Christmas. She is a cosmetologist, so I made her a little shears that's chrome with some purple and pink roses and then a purple background and rhinestones and all kinds of pretty glitzy stuff that she can wear at work. Being a stylist, she can only wear black and so necklaces and scarves and things like that are how she dresses up her wardrobe while she's working and so I know that she likes necklaces so I thought this would be a great gift for her. Also, I just want to say that the next few videos, the next three or four or so, are going to all be charms and necklaces and things like that that I've made for various members of my family for Christmas and the reason I'm doing all these other things, I'm just sort of, normally I'd sort of put in these in between nail videos but I'm working on a huge painting for my other channel and so I don't have time to do nail for the next few days so that's why I'm doing this instead so I hope you like these and don't forget to click subscribe to my future videos as well so to begin with I have my little pendant base and I'm going to be filling it in with some lavender colored acrylic it's actually kind of an orchid color I know I said lavender but it seems a little pinker than that to me it's just it's a really pretty you know light color I wanted it to be I didn't want this whole pendant to be super heavy, I want it to be kind of light and airy. And so then I'm going to be covering up that color with some clear acrylic just to bring it up to the edge of the pendant, uh, of the frame, just because it, I don't want to use so much of that colored acrylic, it's sort of wasteful in my mind. And then I'm going to be adding a layer of some clear gel over the top of it, and then after that's on there I just flip it over for a couple seconds, tap it to sort of create a nice dome shape. So then on a nail form backing I'm going to be painting out my shears with some gel paint. This is black gel paint. And the reason I'm doing it off is because I want to make it chrome and so I knew that if I was to put it on the pendant while I'm chroming it, it's going to get chrome everywhere that I'm not going to get off. So I'm making it on the side so that I can put the chrome powder on it away from the pendant. So first I created an X with the cross towards the top and then extending those lines just in my mind I'm going to add two circles and then on the one circle I'm going to add that little thumb hold and then between the circle and the top of each line of each side of the X I'm going to add just a little curl a little swirl just so that they're more decorative than just a pair of scissors and so just add that make them a little filigreed a little pretty and just add those lines touch everything up make sure it's good and then cure it and after it's cured, then I'm going to go back through now and I'm going to be adding a second layer of the gel paint. And so as I'm doing this, it's really easy to add too much of the gel paint while you're doing this because it just it's hard to tell what you're doing, where you're doing it, and what's been applied and where it hasn't. So just be careful and try to keep like a pattern of how you're painting it so that you don't get too much. If you do, it's going to run all over like mine did there at the one side a little bit. And I'm just going to clean it up with a little silicone tool and some... Uh, isopropyl alcohol just because you know it happens so then cure that again and now I'm going to be applying some silver chrome powder over the top of it really rubbing it in so there's not too much powder going on at one time after that's on there I'll take a tweezers and just sort of pick it up and set it down just or actually I'm using a silicone tool just to loosen it from the nail form backing so now I'm going to take and put some nail glue onto my pendant base where I want the shears to be and then lay them down. Normally I would then take and wrap the nail or the pendant with saran wrap, but I do not want to get any of that glue on the metal frame. So I thought I would just sort of pat it down with my little silicone tool. It's not going to be worn and so I wasn't as concerned about it being picked up and ruined and peeled off. So then I'm going to take and on a nail form backing once again I'm going to be making my rose petals and so I started with a pink and purple bead and it's actually cover pink and just made it pretty small but these are going to be my largest petals. I don't have much room on here in general so they're, none of them are going to be huge. So first when you're doing this whenever you're going and you have a two-tone bead that's a lighter to a darker color go into the lighter color first and then into the darker color. If you go to the darker color first all the pigment's going to bleed into your lighter color making neither of them the color that you want because it's going to lighten your darker color and it's going to darken your lighter color and it's just going to kind of become muddy. So just go into the lighter one first that's going to maintain your color. And so I'm going to set ply that down and I keep adding petals and I know I said roses. They're not necessarily roses. This is just the kind of flower that I always make when I'm doing something that's non-specific. Just petals going around in a circle. It's not necessarily a rose. Oh, 
sorry, losing my voice, a rose. So I was going to add that one down and I believe I did two rows of three petals. And so that's the first row. Now the second row, you're going to want to make your petals a little bit smaller. So use less monomer in your brush as you're doing this and grab that and make a petal. If you wanted to, if you wanted to speed this process up, if you're feeling like, man, this is taking me an eternity, that one petal I just sort of got rid of. If it feels like it's taking you too long to make these, you can go through and like I'm doing there and make two petals at a time. That is definitely going to speed up the process, but you also have to really manage your time and make sure that you don't get sort of sidetracked away and miss to picking up that one petal. And so I'm just going to keep adding them until I feel like it's a nice full flower. And so I believe I added one more after this. I could be wrong, but I think that's, I think that's what happened. So then I have that on there, make that last one. And then, yep. So then the last row or the last petal that I did is just the cover pink. And so that one I'm going to take and then I'm going to sort of break it up a little bit with my silicone tool, pick it up, and then with a dotting tool, really press it into the center so that it kind of ruffles a bit, just like that. And then I'm going to be making the second flower. Now, quickly, I just want to mention that applying the rhinestones to this entire thing, I completely missed. How? I wish I knew, because I guess my camera was deciding it was mad at me. I don't know. Not sure what was going on there. But I added a silver rhinestone to the center of each flower, and then just a couple little rhinestones and some caviar beads all around the background. So around the flowers and around the shears, just to fill it in and make it look a little more glitzy. And so I'm sorry I missed that, but it is just rhinestone application, so hopefully it's not like I missed making the shears or something. That'd be a little more devastating. And so I'm going to be keeping adding these flowers or petals. I'm on the last two. There's the one. And if you wanted to, you could also add a layer of a gel sealer over the top of everything. I decided I didn't want to, so I just added it over the top of the shears. Um, but then before you get to that point, just go through and add a little highlight to the edge of each petal with some diluted white paint. So just take a tiny bit of that diluted paint on your brush and then just go over the edges of each of those flowers just to really brighten them up a little bit. And then with black paint, also slightly diluted, I'm going to go through and just outline my shears a little bit just to really make them stand out. Sometimes chrome things kind of blend in just a little bit to the background. So adding that little black line is really going to make them stand out and be visible. And that is it. And so I hope you like this and I am sorry I missed some of that footage. I apologize and please share any recreations with me on Facebook and Instagram. I'd love to see them and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.